Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Kofi with KL Sports Talk back out with another video. And um, in today's video, I, I really didn't even want to make this video, but you know, I have to do it, you know, just for the fans. But yeah, guys, the Chicago Bears got blown out miserably by the Arizona Cardinals 29 to 9 yesterday on Sunday. And as you saw from, you know, how frustrated I was, uh, I made that short uh, going to around the pools around the four. And um, at that point, the Chicago Bears were pretty much out of that game. Um, I knew from the start that this was not going to be a great game. When we went um, the first two running all over our run defense, specifically that big play by um, D. Marcardo, uh, their backup running back who ran for a 52-yard touchdown. And we can also highlight how uh, DJ Moore um, literally ran, like gave up on a play when uh, Caleb Williams was literally being blitzed um, immediately. Immediately he was being blitzed and he was literally getting out of those blitzes, trying to look for an open player. DJ Moore just literally just went off the field and quit on the team, bro. This is totally an indictment on the head coach when Matt Eberflus, when Matt Eberflus uh, went uh, on um, after the uh, halftime game and he said that we needed to execute, I already knew that this game was over. I already knew that this game was over. We lost on all three phases, offense, defense, special teams. We got dominated and we just got to take that L. Now, I already said these next three games against the Cardinals, against the Patriots, and against the Packers, this was going to be pivotal. And as I already know, Matt Eberflus did not rise to the occasion. I get it. Ryan Poles, he was trying to give him another year. You know, the first two years, you know, wasn't great. The second year, um, I didn't really do anything with Justin Fields. Ryan Poles did all that he could, you know, to uh, uh, help build that roster the second year. And you failed, Matt Eberflus. You know, you, you did an improvement on the second year. You went 7-10. to 10. I still would have fired Matt Eberflus. I don't know what the heck happened in, in, on, on that, why he did not, you know, um, fire Matt Eberflus. But that's neither here nor, nor there. He saw some improvement. But at this point, you need to fire Matt Eberflus. At this point, he's not meant to be a head coach. That From, I mean, from those last five games I talked about, his situational awareness, his time management has not been good. Um, he's given up a lot of games uh, for this season. He's given up that Indianapolis game. He gave up um, that Washington Commanders game. Uh, he also gave up, what's that other game that they lost? Um, yeah, he also, he gave up the Houston game. Like we were in that game. Um, we could have won. We gave up that Indianapolis Colts game. We could have won that. Um, and then, um, like I said, we gave up that Commanders game. Like, he literally blew all those games, and he really has nothing to show for it. Really has nothing to show for it. We're 4-4 four and four at this point of the season, and we're coming down this tough stretch of games, especially our division opponents, and it's not really looking good at this point. It's not looking good at this point. We really got to fire this head coach and really salvage this this season because it's not going to get any better. It's not going to get any easier. At this point, I literally don't see any wins this upcoming season. Maybe the Patriots, but other than that, I don't see no other wins coming up this season. But yeah, guys, this is your boy Kofi. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow um, for my live stream. And yeah, guys, uh, bear down. I mean, even though, you know, um, whether we win or lose, you know, I'm still going to be pumping out more and more Bears content. Um, I know a lot of other Bears content creators, they're fed up, you know, they don't want to make any any content videos. You know, I, I've watched some of their videos and it just seems like they don't want to make any more content video. I'm still going to be bringing content video, whether we win or lose, you know, I'm still going to be bringing it out. But at this point, we got to solve this whatever season that we have left. I mean, look at what the Saints did. They fired Dennis Allen. Look at what the Jets did. They fired Robert Sala. Even though he was a, a more of a solid head coach than Matt Eberflus at this point. And that just says a lot about our organization. But guys, I'm out. This is not even a bear down. This is a bear bear. This is a I don't even know how to describe it, but it's not good. It's not bear down in a good way.
bear down in a bad way. All right, guys, I'm out. That's why I'm trying to make a better way. Whole new crib in a better place. Get my people out the hood. We'll see better days. Tell a fan, sorry, y'all let them wait. Shit up there like a Saturday. Listen to me, happy.